Hello, everyone. We have covered subsystems in vehicle modeling. Now we are going to cover component models starting from bushings and mounts. Bushings and mounts are isolating vibration from external load. They also provide and distribute the compliances. Suspension links, arms, and chassis structures are connected by bushings. Bushings have a cylindrical shape. Radial rates are generally higher than the axial rate. Conical rates are also higher than the torsional rate. Some bushings have asymmetric rates for compression and tension so that the bushing direction should be carefully represented. Dramatic changes in bushing rate can be materialized by solid and void shape design. Elastomeric bushings have about 5 to 6 degree loss angle to represent damping. To boost the loss angle up to 70 to 80 degrees, hydro bushings can be used for suppressing shake issues. Of course, they are more expensive and have a durability concern for oil leakage. Users should make sure that a bushing model has all 6 degree of freedom force versus deflection curves. Bushings can be deflected to the travel stop in high load cases. It is highly recommended that the vehicle dynamics model should have nonlinear force versus deflection curves up to the travel stop for each direction. Vehicle structure are not rigid. Structure stiffness with a bushing rate make the equivalent stiffness as the bushing attachment lower than the actual bushing rate. This means that the good correlation of compliance analysis is achieved from a good representation of bushing force versus deflection curves and the structure compliance of the vehicle. This slide has an example of a bushing force versus deflection curve. Without bushing hardware, Historical data would work until the bushing component become available. Nonlinear FE analysis can give rough force versus deflection curves. Once hardware become available, a bushing characterization test can be done. At least three sample per part should be collected. Users should make sure that the force measurement include max and mean forces of the bushing operating condition. Curve extrapolation is discouraged. As shown in the plot, measured data come in with the noise. The raw data cannot be used directly. It should go through curve fitting. This is the most time consuming process in vehicle modeling. A vehicle model has at least 30 bushings, counting only one side, and each bushing has six force versus deflection curves. This means that at least 180 curve fittings. Elastomeric bushings assumed viscous damping. The damping coefficient is not easily available. In general, about five to six degree loss angle is assumed. This corresponds to a damping coefficient of 0.1% bushing stiffness. Reckless damping assumption of bushings would result in poor shake result. The hydro bushing has higher loss angle than elastomeric bushing. This is for one direction out of six degree of freedom bushing force and movements. Bushing supplier design oil chamber and oil flow channel to meet the damping requirements at a given frequency. For example, four aft suspension shake frequency. Dynamic stiffness and loss angle from the tests are a function of amplitude as well as frequency as shown in the plot. The top plot shows dynamic stiffness of a bushing from 0 to 40 Hz with half millimeter, 1 millimeter, and 2 millimeter amplitude. The bottom plot shows a loss angle for the same three cases. We have a couple of analytical models to implement in ANSYS motion. 
Hydro bushings significantly improve vehicle ride performance in smooth road shake and rough road vibration. However, the performance get deteriorated once the bushing get damaged to have oil leakage.